What is up, y'all? So, I just went on eBay and bought 16 TV speakers for $15, shipping included. Here they are. Uh, why did I do that? I, I don't even know. I guess originally I just want something to blow up, but these turned out to be pretty decent. It's an uh, assortment of 16 random TV speakers. Uh, you know, it's pretty decent. So, let's go over them. First up, we got these Sony egg-shaped drivers. I don't know where they came out of, but I, this is definitely Sony, because only Sony makes these funky speakers. These look Samsung to me. I don't know. Same as these. I got two pairs of each of these. They're pretty bad, actually. And there's these flat speakers. I mean, they're really flat, but they also kind of suck. Uh, these are, I'm guessing these are all Samsung. And then we got a Sony subwoofer. Well, let's test each and every one of these. And then we shall decide which one to keep, which one to blow. Actually, I've already did a little test. I just want to make a video about them so I could show them to you. And, you know, you guys could have a listen to know how these actually sound. Well, the ones I'm going to bl blow are going to be these. And these. I'm going to blow a pair of these each because they simply, first of, they simply suck. Second of, I they're redundant. So that's what I've decided uh, for now. Uh, I would also be taking them apart. Uh, so you'd be able to see, except for these Sony's, because I don't. I think these are glued into the enclosures. As for those, which is also glued, I'm just gonna pop them apart. I'm gonna blow them anyways. Well, uh, let's let's make a video out of these. So let's let's test them. I guess. Here is the first pair of speakers. These are the. Um, oh, just wanted to pause the, uh, the music for a while. These are the Samsungs. These are also the ones that might be blowing up. Alright, let's take one of them apart. I'm gonna keep the other one in a box. Alright, here's the driver themselves. Square magnet, rectangular actually. Six six ohms, ten watts. And you can see inside there. Let me turn on the lights. You can see inside there a short port. Which is why it explains the lack of bass. Alright, TV speaker set number two. These are also probably Samsung's. Is the number on them? I don't know. Let's play some music. Okay, so this is also a pair of blowing up. I'm gonna tear into one of them. All right, well, this one is magnetically shielded, a rare sight for any sort of an LCD speaker. Let me turn on the lights. There you have it. This would probably go up in smoke too. Now the Sony X shaped. I won't be ta taking these apart because I'm keeping them, but all right. <laughs> Aren't they a boomy mess? At least the uh, treble part sounded alright. Well, uh, let's move on. 
All right, now here's the sound bar looking Sony's. Better, but still quite boxy. Well, we got two more. Now for the flat panels. Oh, they're out of face. Yeah, somehow I have them out of face. I'll be removing this top plate and show you the inside of it. Wow, these are actually nice. Everybody get hurt. It's actually good. These are the speakers. They're very flat. Less than a centimeter thick. The port. This is, I think, two inch in diameter. Pretty fancy. All right, last but not least, we got the subwoofer from a Sony TV. Um, the satellites I'm using are these flat Samsungs. I think they're Samsung, I guess, but let's get to it. Right. Well, so there you have it. That is the uh, review of all the TV speakers I've got today. And uh, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I would be putting out more stuff like this, probably some more unboxing, probably some more blowouts. So I guess there you have it.